Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Lutron Maestro multi-location countdown timer switch. Timer switches are extremely useful, especially in applications where you would like to control a bath fan or a light for a preset amount of time. This switch has settings for 5, 10, 15, 30, 45, and 60 minutes. It also has a setting so that you can use it like a regular on-off switch. This switch will work with any kind of lighting and is especially designed to work with today's very low wattage bath fans and LED lights. This particular switch does require a neutral wire. To do the installation, we must first make sure the electricity is off. This is my Klein voltage tester. It's telling me that the electricity is currently on. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker off and I'll use my tester. And this time it's telling me that the electricity is off. Now that we know the electricity is off, the first thing I'll do is remove the Leviton screwless wall plate. It just snaps off and then there's a little back plate that screws off. Now we'll remove the regular single pole switch. I'll just pull it out and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double check with my tester. I'm going to take my tester, turn it on, and put it, put it in the box. Check, double check, make sure there isn't like a second circuit in there or a live hot wire in the back or something. I've done my double check and I'm going to pull it out. This is just a regular single pole switch. It's got some tape on it there. I'll take that off. And being that this is a regular single pole switch, you'll notice there's two black wires going to two bronze terminals. And you just uh, remove the wires. That'd be the two black wires. With a single pole switch, it doesn't matter which black wire goes to which bronze terminal. But it's going to matter with the timer switch. Now I'm uh, removing the ground wire and that will remove the switch from the wires. Now I have put wire nuts on all the wires and I'm going to turn the electricity back on temporarily. You see, now here's the hot wire. This is called the line wire. This other black wire would be the load wire. That's a line wire. You hear the beep, you see the red. That's my Fluke 1 AC, by the way, tester. I always use it in a crowded box situation. Okay, so that's your line wire. That's your load wire. The load wire is the one that goes to the light. It's only hot when the switch is on. The, the line wire is the one that brings the electricity into the box and is hot all the time. I'll mark the hot line wire with a piece of tape. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker off and I'm going to double check with my fluke voltage detector to make sure that all the electricity is off. And it's it's telling me it's, it's off and it's safe to work on. Now I'm going to pull the neutrals out from the back of the box. Notice I have them connected together with a Wago lever nut. W-A-G-O. Wago. And now I'm going to pull the grounds um, from the back of the box. And that's a five connector Wago lever nut. The other, for the other one I've used a three connector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pigtail that was going to the single pole switch off. You see the timer switch has its own attached ground wire. So I'll just put the attached ground wire from the timer switch into the Wiggle lever net and clamp it down. It's really easy and simple to work with the Wiggle lever nuts. Now I have prepared a white neutral pigtail and I'm just going to put in the three connector Wago lever nut. And okay, so we have the ground wire already connected. Now the white wire is going to go to the silver terminal. That's the neutral. It goes to the silver terminal. It goes around the nut in a clockwise manner. Now crimp the wire and secure it very well. That's a uh, 1000 volt insulated Milwaukee screwdriver there. So now we've got the ground and the neutral connected. Okay, 
I'm going to take the uh, wire nets off here. We have the electricity off, and we've tested to make sure the electricity is off. The one that is marked is the hot wire. Okay, we're going to have to go around the terminal, so I'm going to need a little more copper there. Uh, that was my uh, Klein wire stripper, and these are my, my little Klein uh, needle nose pliers. Put the wire around the nut in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. Now I'll put the ground wires and the neutral wires back into the back of the box. Now I'll put the load wire around the bronze terminal in a clockwise manner, and I'll crimp it and tighten it down securely. Now we've got the neutral wire to the silver terminal. We've got the line wire connected to the black common terminal. We've got the load wire connected to the bronze terminal. And we have the ground wire connected to the Wago lever nut that is connected with all the other grounds in the back of the box. Now I'll put a couple wraps of black electrician's tape around the switch for safety. Screw the switch into the box, taking care to get it nice and level. I'll screw on the back plate for my Leviton screwless wall plate. And then I'll just snap on the screwless wall plate. Now I'll turn the electricity back on. Right now it's set at 10 minutes. So I'll go one down and set it at 5 minutes. Now with the timer switch set at 5 minutes, I'll Go ahead and turn the light on. And after five minutes, the light turned itself off. One of the favorite combinations I like to utilize in bathrooms is the Lutron timer switch that you see on the left there, which controls a bath fan, and the Leviton IPS02 occupancy sensor switch, which controls the light. So it automatically turns on when you come in and turns off a after a prescribed amount of time when you leave the bathroom. And when you need the fan for 5, 10, 15 uh, minutes or however many minutes, uh, you just uh, turn it on, it turns itself off. So this is a real nice combination for a typical uh, bathroom setup. Now let's meet the stars of the show, all of which I'll put links for in my video description. The Lutron Maestro timer switch, the Leviton screwless wall plates, the Milwaukee three-piece 1,000-volt insulated screwdriver set, the Fluke 1AC voltage tester, the Wago lever nuts in the five connector, the three connector, and the two connector sizes, and the Leviton IPS02 occupancy sensor switch. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.